What is up guys, it is your boy Nisho here, and I am back talking about what took the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG by storm last week as uh, Konami uh, revealed the ban list for the TCG for June 12th, 2017. And uh, as we saw in the OCG a few months back in April, um, Norden is finally getting banned um, to zero. Uh, the the ban hammer, you know, kaploot. And... <laughs> uh, a lot of people are um, being quick to say that uh, instant fusion um, isn't really all that useful anymore. It's kind of dead, and although they are kind of right on a general basis, um, it's, it's it's not going to be as generic anymore because not every deck is going to have access to Norton. Norton was kind of the, the the first card that really made instant fusion generic. Although it was always generic, um, there weren't always good fusions that decks could go into. And Norton was kind of like the first one where it was where everyone can come to a consensus that it was like the one of the best reason to use Institution or the best reason to play it in general. Um, and uh, with Norton gone, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, Instant Fusion isn't good anymore. Now, um, with Instant Fusion, it's, uh, it, it's something that isn't really a bad card. It's just something that doesn't really have a uh, use in a lot of decks because there aren't a lot of decks that can use fusions like that. So I'm here to, to uh, j just to, just to talk about five decks that I think can still use instant fusion pretty well. Um, so the very first being UA. And so UAs are a deck that, um, if you don't know, they're kind of like a toolbox deck. They, they kind of have like um, monsters for different situations. And uh, what UAs do is uh, they pretty much, they're kind of like hyper-aggressive. They have a bit of control as well. So um, they so they, they kind of rely on the field spell. And uh, when they do, you, when you normal summon, you search. And when you search, you can special out by bringing back the monster. You normal summon back to your hand and special out the UA you need. And then after you attack with the UA, you get to send that one back to your hand and special out another one that could probably like negate something during your opponent's turn. So it definitely has like um, a lot of like uh, cards set to do certain things in it. So which is why it's a toolbox deck. So the reason why um, Instant Fusion works in uh, UAs is because um, you can Instant Fusion Sea Monster of Theseus. So Sea Monster of Theseus is um, probably one of the reasons why people are still going to be using Instant Fusion, and. Um, it, it's it, it's just a level five tuner. That's really the only real reason people would use it. Most people don't care that it's water. Most people don't care that it's zombie. Like because even zombies like Shirinui, um, wouldn't really be able to use it that well. I mean, you could probably tech Mizuki if you play Sea Monster Theseus um in your deck, but if you're not playing um like zombies in general, then teching Mizuki might just be a dead draw. So just consider that. But um in UAs. Uh, the two best UAs, which are Slugger and Midfielder, they are the two best UAs, there's no debating that. And uh, those two are both level 5, and so having access to a level 5 tuner um, allows the deck to have access to Ultimaya, which then ha allows the deck to, that wouldn't normally have access to level 8 Synchros, to have access to those level 8 Synchros, like um, Starter Spark or Crystal Wing being the two most notable, probably the two you're probably going to go into the most, maybe Void Ogre, but the deck kind of uh, recycles its card uh, in the hand, so you probably wouldn't do Void Ogre anyway. So, with Start of Spark, you can uh, protect the Field Spell because the Field Spell is important, or protect one of your monsters, um, even itself. You can even protect your back row, but UAs don't play too much back row, so it's, it's not, um, back row may not be uh, that big of a deal because the monsters kind of do all the work. But, uh, yeah, because of uh, Instant Fusion, um, Ultimai kind of makes the deck, um, gives it, like, gives the deck a, a lot more power than it, it would have normally. Because imagine having a, a, a Crystal Wing and a monster, like a midfielder that could, no, not midfielder, a Perfect Ace that could, like, negate anything during the opponent's turn. I, I think that makes it double, um, makes it even more of a threat. But... 
Um, UAs as a deck um, still aren't that strong, although they did get the, the buff simply because the Monster of Thessius was made and Foolish Burial Goods was made. But um, it, it, it is still something that can be used in um, UAs. And even if you aren't, there are a few level 4 UAs. And uh, the fusion that I've been starting to use is uh, Carbon Carbonala Warrior. I, I, I don't know if I said that right. But it's just a level 4 warrior, uh, Earth Warrior. Um, so if you have one of the level 4s out, activate Instant Fusion, summon out that bad boy, and then you just overlay into a uh, rank 4. If if need be. Because there are still a lot of rank 4s that you could, um, level 4 fusions that you can use with Instant Fusion to make rank 4s. It's just now it won't be a rank 4 by itself. You know? Because often people saw it, like save their Instant Fusions for the very second that they can just summon out Norton and then summon out a monster back from Grave. Which which is kind of what made Norton so good, is just being able to summon back from Grave. But uh, now we can't do that anymore, and it's just, it's more of a one for one now and not a one for two. So, just be, be wary of that. So, next deck that I have on the list is uh, Cyber Dragon. So, Cyber Dragon is a deck that uh, uses uh, Instant Fusion for Panzer Dragon, and uh, the reason why I use it for Panzer Dragon is because Panzer Dragon is a level 5 light machine. And so light machines, so level, if you ever play Cyber Dragons, um, you know that the deck kind of has like its its problems. Because there are some times where, you, you know, you could get one level 5 on the board and not another. There are other times where you kind of need to waste your normal summon with a uh, core to search your cyber repair plant. And then next turn, you'd probably be able to get two level 5s on the board. You kind of like you kind of want to get into that infinity as soon as possible, and sometimes uh, the way that the deck works, it just doesn't allow that, which is why Instant Fusion was so good in the deck because just to, to be able to summon out Cyber Dragon and then just Panzer Dragon, or you know if you only have um, let's say you don't have enough light monsters in hand to use uh, a Galaxy Soldier twice, then you just use one Galaxy Soldier and then search another one and then Instant Fusion. You know, instead of wasting two Galaxy Soldiers, so um, it, it it definitely is a nice addition to the deck. It's not something that makes the deck uh, that breaks the deck. You know, that makes the deck like top tier, but it definitely adds um, speed to the deck and adds consistency as well. Unlike UAs, where it's simply there just to give them more power, like Instant Fusion adds consistency to Cyber Dragons, even for being a a one for one only. I mean, honestly, I don't even think you would run Norton, and, uh, well, you you actually could. That's the thing, it's that Norton was just so generic, it's just, uh, there's just more times you would probably want to go into your Panzer Dragon and into your rank 5 than into that one time you may be able to go into rank 4. So, yeah, there's that. So, next off on the list, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? We have Water. So, Water is a deck <laughs> that has a lot of OTK potential and became a whole lot more broken when Norton went to 3. And simply because it was a level 4 Water that could bring back your Dragoons and just make a free um, Exceed or a free Bahamut Shark. Um, back then, we didn't have Toad the, when Norton first came out, but the second that we saw Toad was coming out, it was like, oh my god, like this is just amazing. Because now we can go into Bahamut Shark, and Bahamut Shark can go into Toad, and we can get a search off of that because we could detach the Dragoons, and it, it, was, it was just so amazing because it just got you so much, uh, you just benefited so much off of, it, off of one instant fusion. Now it's not as much because um, since Norton's banned, you won't be able uh, to use, um, to bring back uh, Dragoons from Grave, because the fusion you're going to be using is Rare Fish. Rare Fish is just a level 4 uh, fish type monster um, that's a fusion. You would only use it because it's a water type. And so that's what Mermails or Atlanteans need. Because um, if they can, if you tribute your Prince for a Megalo, um, you could probably still use Prince to bring back uh, Dragoons that you, must, that you might have dropped and then use Dragoons and the Rare Fish to overlay. But sometimes, you know, some people uh, tacked in like uh, Aqua Spirits and you know, uh, other different cards, um, but Rare Fish, you know, with Instant Fusion makes it a little more consistent. It's nowhere near as good as Norton, but I do still think 
water decks or mermail slash Atlantean decks should use instant fusion simply for that matter because rare fish is um, pretty decent uh, in that deck and it kind of like it doesn't rely on it because it still has the otk potential by itself but it definitely helps so synchron and turbo decks have uh, always been a deck that could just has so much speed by itself that it doesn't really need anything else it's real consistent it's just sometimes Quasar isn't as strong as it needs to be. Sometimes Blazer isn't as strong as it needs to be because, you know, it's like one Kaiju and then it's like, okay, I can break your board easily. But um, the point here is that uh, with the deck being as consistent as possible, it's definitely uh, no surprise that Norton was amazing in a deck like that where you can just make a free... Um, Synchros, pretty much, because if you use Norden to bring back a Jet Synchron, if you use Norden to bring back any level 4 lower monster, like a Dandelion, that uh, you can use for another Synchro, it, it definitely would have been useful. As long as you use that monster before you use Norden, or... Because, you know, if Norden leaves, then you banish the monster that you use, but if the monster leaves first, then, you know, there's no, uh, there's no harm in using Norden. Now, Instant Fusion made that you know, a two for one, as as I said before, you know, you get two monsters for one spell card. With Synchrons, um, they, they kind of have a self-sufficient um, engine, so that isn't, it, it isn't too much of a deal if they lose that, because they do have uh, the four minute Synchron and Desynchro draw engines with tuning wear as well. Those are my waffles. <laughs> with tuning wear as well, so um, it definitely helped. But um, with... Um, well, with Norton, it was um, a whole lot better. Now, they, they can still use it because it's like they're getting a free monster um, motor. It's uh, Theseus. They can get like a level 5 tuner and then just uh, use like a love leader from the grave. So Theseus with love leader it definitely is not a bad combo. It's funny that love leader still hasn't been touched here in the TCG, but yet it's hit in the OCG because the OCG just used it to the max. Here, we don't see Synchron decks top, like, at all, so, <laughs> so, uh, I guess the TCG Konami doesn't really care too much about Love Leader, but, um, yeah, I mean, there's still tons of fusion that you can use for Synchro material, um, especially with the whole, uh, Blackwing combo with, uh, the whole Assault Blackwing level 5 guy, like, if you go Theseus and you have a Love Leader engraved, special amount that Love Leader, uh, Synchro Summon out, um, the level 5 black wing and then if you use love leader again um just get like just have another level 4 tuner on the, the board i mean just make another just have the ability to make another level 5 synchro and uh either using like jet synchron engrave and using the black wing synchro so that would be like um so you would have jet synchron on the board and black wing and the love leader on board and then synchro with the jet synchron and the black wing synchro since it's level four down into another one of the level five black wing synchro and then you'd have two of them and then you have lovely on board as well and if you still haven't used your um your jet synchron's uh, set, uh, ability to drop and special summon itself from grave you can just do that then and then um synchro into the level two black wing and then that's a free uh quasar or cosmic blazer right there so it still has use in decks like Synchrons, it's just not as strong with, or it doesn't get you as much advantage, you know, now. But Synchrons have always been a deck that has self-sufficient advantage, so it's not too much of a big deal uh, with the loss of Norton. And the last deck I wanted to talk about is uh, Lyralusk, um, as DP Yugo called them, uh, Bird Bitches. <laughs> And uh, pretty much, uh, I know the deck kind of like died out before it could really become a thing in the TCG because they banned the Tyrant Neptune. Uh, there was a whole broken combo with Tyrant Neptune where you distribute the fusion and uh, Tyrant Neptune would come unaffected by uh, other card effects and it would gain 500 times its level and uh, it inflict 500 times its level, so it will be pretty broken. But now, um, the, the fusion just does that by itself. The fusion's only level 1. Now, the entire deck being level 1, I, I think it's good that there's level 1 fusion that you can instant fusion into. And so because of that, um, you don't have to uh, worry about getting like the, the deck speed when you can just instant fusion the level 1 monster and then normal summon another level 1 
uh, Larvalesque. I don't know how the deck works exactly. I'm still learning the deck, but um, it just allows for rank ones in, in that deck. That's really, that's really all I'm, I'm trying to say right here. Uh, and it just gets you like to have a spell card that can summon out a level one from the extra deck and then to have just normal summon out another level one and then just exceed using those. Um, it definitely is helpful because I, I do feel the deck doesn't have enough main deck monsters that help you um, bring back um, or summon out other level one monsters. And uh, the good thing is that when it gets sent to the grave, since it was properly fusion summoned, you can use King Kabeo, um to bring it back and make another uh, rank one exceed. So it definitely has its uses. So, um, you know, none of these decks are meta. That's a fact. But, um, you know, it just goes to prove that, you know, if you, if you just look around a little more, you know, like, not every card is as bad as, as you know, as it seems. Since, you know, a lot of people were, as I said before, the, they were quick to say that Instant Fusion is gone. Probably, you probably won't be using the meta as much. You may see it still used in some of the Metal Foes. Um, maybe if they want to make... If they have like a sea monster of Thessius and they want to go into a Ignister with a Silvered, they could probably do that. But some of them are still using Gofu, so maybe in like uh, a lot of other decks like Zephyrus, um, since if they want to make an Ignister, they can just use sea monster of Thessius. Um, Konami did say at the beginning of the year that sea monster of Thessius would be the best fusion monster of the year. Um, or best monster of the year uh, in general, and it still hasn't been shown. But I do feel like because Intifusion is still like Intifusion didn't get hit as with Norton, um, it may still be an open possibility. But unfortunately, not everyone sees Sea Monster of Vestius as a, a viable use into synchros because they don't feel like um, using those synchros are really um, like there's enough of a like there's enough of a reason to use those synchros like. If I'm playing zombies, right? Let's say I'm I'm playing a uh, Sharanoi. All my non-tuners are level four, so if I use Sea Monster of Thessius, I'm gonna need to use at least a level nine synchro. The only one that I can think of is a uh, Vermilion Dragon Mech. So I'm paying a thousand life points to summon out Sea Monster of Thessius and to use another monster that could have been used for um, Cypher and Omega or other level eight synchros, maybe one of the Sharanoi synchros. And I'm using it on the Sea Monster Thessius uh, to go into a Vermilion Dragon Max. All I'm doing is popping a card. Yes, I can use Mizuki to bring back the Sea Monster Thessius, but you know that's the reason why I, I, I didn't think uh, zombies were good enough to be part of this list because it's like I don't see Sea Monster Thessius doing it, doing anything um, good in zombies other than making a Vermilion Dragon Mech. And maybe when, during Link format um, where. Uh, we may not have uh, as much uh, um, freedom with the extra deck <laughs> anymore. Uh, you can use Mizuki and Sea Monster Thessius to do some like crazy combos, but even then, it's like, eh, I, I still don't know if it's worth playing. Anyway, uh, that's all I have to say for now. Uh, this was Nisho here. Um, expect more videos coming soon. You know, I did take a bit of a hiatus with uh, some hype video games coming out last week, Cough, Cough, Injustice 2, grinding in that multiverse mode, but, um, yeah, I, I guess for now, I've kind of calmed down with that, so it's, uh, it won't be as, so I'll, I'll be back to uploading my normal content on a daily schedule, so, hope you guys enjoyed, this was Nisho here, if you made it this far, put hashtag, um, goodbye Norton, in the comments but if you haven't made it this far then i don't know why i'm even saying this because you won't even be listening if i if you didn't make it this far anyway that's just me rambling on again this was an issue here see you guys later peace